So you came in here with the preposition that somebody should be able to overthrow the United States government because it's not working for us anymore. But si oh. and you when you came in here on the on the, using the pretext of January 6, while simultaneously saying that a group of people that have been marginalized, brutalized, and in every way targeted by white people in this country for 400 years have no right to do the very thing you're advocating for. In fact, you're That's against like them even advocating for reforms. Literally, it's like, it's like uh, listening to the, the chaos that Trump supporters ensue is like listening to a system of a down album. Wake up, wake up. I agree. It's like literally. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Michael? What's going on? You, hey, like how system, are you? you like system of a down? Mm. Bad. Kind of my teenage years, but may maybe not so much in, you know, being 35. Okay. Okay. So it says here, if you support January 6th, you hate America. I guess I got a question. If you wanted to take over your government and trade it out for a new government, how would you exactly do such a thing? An Article 5 convention, as the Constitution says. Okay. Can you explain that to me? I've never read it. An Article 5 convention means that the states come together and in their own legislatures file a resolution for an Article 5 convention, at which point the states will convene and will institute a new government. So we got the state, who are the government also, instituting a new state instead of or instituting a new government instead of the people doing it. Is that what I'm understanding? The state technically is the people. But yes, you don't have the right to overthrow your government because you lost an election by 8 million votes. Well, hold on just a minute. The federal government is the people also, but they aren't exactly doing what's in our best interest. Would you agree with that? Uh, it depends on what the interest is. I would say generally speaking, no, but there are things they do in our, in our interest. Sure. I would say the overall interest and the way you look at the government nowadays, you got a bunch of children and adolescents up there calling names, uh, talking about each other's physical physique and doing all kinds of things that are very pubescent. You would agree with that, right? Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene deserved to get clapped back on. Sure. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But either way, e even if she deserved it or not, you kind of just see this, this happening often, the way they're treating one another up in the our federal building, and we're paying for this to happen. So you would recommend states who are also government who the people don't like also to do our bidding for us. Although that, that, that just doesn't seem plausible to me. How does that seem plausible to you? Not as well, because plausible? it's established within the constitution. An article, a convention has already been convened once before. So like, well, that's how we develop the federal government. Sure. But why would, why would we have the right, uh, you know, as a, a, a militia to bear arms in order to take back over the government if no, we were just going to leave? It, it, had to, it had to do with states having the right to have arms. Okay. So the states have the right to have arms, not the people. Well, until recently, the people did not. But throughout history, it's been the states that have had the right to have arms. I guess I'm going to get right down to it. What do you think the probability is that people who are in the state who have always been in politics all of their life are going to rise up together against our federal government and change it and make it what the people actually want it? and not what they're currently serving as. How, what, what, what's the probability of that? Do you actually believe- I don't believe care if the probability is that. zero. It does not give you the right to violently overthrow our democratic institutional because you have arbitrarily decided that you have been wronged. And then what's the move from there? Are we moving to a direct democracy? Because you guys would still fail. And in that what's... case, Trump supporters are the minority. So why would they get to determine what happens right. to the country? I would, I'm not saying they would get to determine what happens to the country, but I think pretty much everybody, and not just Trump supporters, are on board with the fact that we need a new government and that this current government is a shame to what the American si uh, system is all about. And you think that but I'm only okay. Trump supporters sustain the idea that we should upend it violently? Because Let Democrats are making are making reforms. Like that's what we're advocating and doing. And you guys are just trying to outright overthrow it because you feel wronged about DEI. Do you think that anybody in this government is going to just bow and kiss your ring? Or do you think you're going to actually have to get physically violent in order to throw this out? I'm going to say this again. You are not the authority on determining whether or not a government needs to be redone. <laughs> Very clearly, Trump, Trumpism, and MAGA has shown that they are incapable of maintaining 
democratic norms to any real degree. So no, I don't trust that MAGA would do the right thing, especially when the person that they want to be in power is saying that he wants to be a dictator. I'm, hold on. I'm not, <laughs> I've never voted for Trump. I'm not mega. I'm not a Trumper. I'm not any of that. Okay. But when the I point look at of an article, the point of Article 5 conventions is so that you can democratically make changes or you can do it through elections. But to say that we should allow a group that feels arbitrarily wronged, despite the fact that Trump went off the f***ing rails as there did their supporters and saying that 2020 was stolen when it very clearly was not. These people aren't these people don't have the wherewithal to analyze the election. Why would I give them the wherewithal to analyze how to redo our democracy? Fair enough. I, 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 I'm not I'm not just talking about that group of people. I'm talking about America altogether. <clears throat> I'm saying what I am saying is that it's rather interesting that these people would choose to do this. And yes, I do believe it was a very, I guess, gain staying way. But do you support not, Black uh, Lives I'm Matter? Not, no, I don't. OK, well, <laughs> Kind of defeats your whole argument, man. Why would I support an institution that thrives off of black people and their anger? What? That's not what it is. That's what? exactly what it is. So you're saying, no, so it's... hold on, you're, so you came in here with the preposition that somebody should be able to overthrow the United States government because it's not working for us anymore. But si and no. you, when you came in here on the, on the, using the pretext of January 6th, while simultaneously saying that a group of people that have been marginalized, brutalized, and in every way targeted by white people in this country for 400 years have no right to do the very thing you're advocating for. In fact, you're that's against like them even advocating for reforms. That's interesting. That's like calling the kettle black. You're saying Black Lives Matter is all black people that have been brutalized over no, 400 years. No, you just claim that they were. No. That's rather interesting. You made that You claim. just claim that it was predicated on black anger. This isn't just black people sustaining that there is a that need. And a the one second, let me finish. This is not just black people sustaining the idea that we should have fundamental reforms and police reform. This is universal across the board. Right. So you support the violent overthrow of the United States government, or at least are willing to question that as a as being a potential solution, but somehow will not acknowledge that Black Lives Matter wanted very real systematic reforms. You, That's you a problem your for government you. It's violent means to stay in power. What? Yes or no? This has gone off the rails. How does that I, respond to what we just said? What does that stay What does that have to do with what we just said? And so I, the answer to that is yes. We watched it happen against. We watched it happen against Black Lives Matter. You're the one who started talking about Black Lives Matter, not me. I asked you if your logic here was consistent. Right. You're to saying measure your violent own overthrow could potentially be okay. Protest advocating for police reform not okay. You understand the extremism in that statement? That. I didn't say that. You're you're putting words in my mouth is this what you do to all your viewers did i miss i don't think i didn't miss on that this is what you've been advocating for i said that there is a group of people called black lives matters that is ran by black people that do not care about other black people that and like who to are you to make that gender. determination who are, yeah, who are you referring to who are you referring to black who are you lives referring matter to? is mostly a decentralized movement as opposed to an organization. Okay, I, I gotta get stuff. out of this room. There's something in the I know. Air. Go join, yeah, go join Charles Manson's reality. Please leave. What the f I think he's in the LDS. Helter Skelterville. I gotta Jesus get out of here. I gotta get out of here. You're using too much sense. And if you if you use logic three times, Charles Manson comes up and bops me over the head. Yeah. Helter Skelterville.